My name is Lainey Storrs, and I am a Lolita. So back in 2012, I had a Vocaloid phase And my friends and I were so obsessed with this that we wanted to dress up as the characters. So back in 2012, myself and my two best friends named Lauren and Bella, we started a channel where we could dress up as these characters from Vocaloid. And then we started cosplaying other characters. And then we started drifting apart. We went off our separate ways to high school. Some of us moved. And I kind of took over the channel and I turned it into my own cosplay thing where I just dress up from animes and from video games. Then I went to college and my interest kind of started to shift. Started getting into Lolita fashion. I started watching more videos on it. I started seeing more photos in my news feed and it just kind of piqued my interest. So I started making a couple Lolita videos. It's just something that I found myself really passionate about and something that I really want to do more of going forwards. A Lolita chord is short for coordinate, and it's basically what we refer to as our full outfits. We don't call them a dress because there are so many parts. You first start off with a petticoat. Most of them are bell shapes. They're really full. There's different types of petticoats you can get. And then on top of that, you have this thing called a JSK, which stands for jumper skirt. And that is the dress component. That gives you like this very interesting and unique silhouette and the silhouette is what defines lolita fashion and then you also have the makeup process as well for me that includes like circle lenses and like pink colors and false eyelashes and sometimes a lot of glitter all in all though it takes me so long to get ready like sometimes i will spend an hour and a half putting together my cord and figuring out like, oh, what colors do I want to coordinate today? I have this JSK, do I want to do it with creams? Do I want to do it with sacks? Do I want to do it with like dusty pink? There are so many different options and combinations. It takes me forever to decide. It can really stack up time, but the finished product is so cool and definitely worth it. I have what is considered a medium sized closet and that includes eight Full coordinates. The last one I received, I received back in August, and it is an OP or a one piece. And the print is called Deer and Forest, and it's by Cheese Coco. But it's like this gorgeous burgundy color. The second I saw it, I knew I had to have it to live out my cottage core dreams. There's just, it looks like a palette painting, just the way the artwork is formed. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has long sleeves too. It's like this thick heavy material so it's great for winter and just like the shape of it too like I I feel like I should be well like I should be skipping or like frolicking through like a field of flowers whenever I wear it it's so gorgeous as for negative experiences as you can guess a lot of stuff happens. I get a lot of really weird comments, mainly from men. 99% of it, it's always from men. Even a few days ago, I was out in public. I had multiple people try to take pictures of me without my consent, and I just saw like cameras and phones pointed from me. So I just grabbed my Starbucks cup and like held it in front of my face. Cause uh, <laughs> I'm not about that. I did not give you my consent to take my photo. And it's super, super rude. Even though I have had a lot of negative experiences wearing Lolita, I have also had a lot of positive ones too. Like the same day where I was out and people were taking photos of me without my consent, I did get a lot of positive compliments. Like I had people walking by me and being like, oh, I love your dress or, oh, you look so stylish today, which is like really uplifting and cool. But the coolest thing ever, like the best feeling in the universe is when you're out in public and you're all dressed up and you see like a little girl and the little girl just runs up to you and is like 
Oh my god, are you a princess? I live for those moments. I live for being like, yeah, I am a princess. Are you also a princess? Like, the best feeling in the universe is when little kids validate you and like think you're some like superhero, some like fairy tale princess fairy. It's amazing. I am really grateful for Lolita Fashion and for it entering into my life. I feel like for the past few years, I have been really uncomfortable with my femininity and I've been really struggling in that area. I've had days where I have questioned my gender identity, I've questioned my sexuality, I've questioned who I am from the core of my being as a person. and. It always really confused me because it felt like there were so many different sides to me competing and there was never really this place for someone who was feminine, if that makes sense. So seeing Lolita Fashion, it was something that I was interested in, but it was also something I really struggled with because it was like, am I actually feminine? Is this something I want to do? So when I went to some of these meetings, I was really scared. I was scared because my entire life I've been told that I am too masculine, I will never be seen as someone who can be, you know, pretty or beautiful. I went to my first meetup, basically back in high school, with all of this conflict. This is when I was really questioning my gender identity, my sexuality, who I was, and I just found a group that was really welcoming. And I found people that were just like me. I found out that there are so many men who dress in these Lolita dresses or even in boy style, which is the masculine version of Lolita. I found out that there are people of all different sexualities in Lolita, and it just really gave me a community. It gave me a safe place where I can be like, hey, I don't know what I am right now. And it just is this community of people who are like, I understand how you're feeling, but no matter what, no matter who you choose to be, who you choose to love, no matter how you present yourself, you're always going to have a home right here. You're always going to have people who accept you, people who understand you, and people who love you and embrace you. And it's kind of weird too, because it is so feminine and so frilly and just, you know, very, <laughs> very feminine. But it's also a place where no matter who you are and what you do and what you love, you're always going to be included and you're always going to find a safe place.